All right, you're on like a track and field star. Yeah, one. Our family, this is our host and tour guide, Brother Usman from the Gambia, and uh, we're gonna connect with the local tour guide that's gonna continue the journey for us. And family, this is, it's hot, and not all of us are gonna have the same strength to continue, so those who couldn't make it, they tell them just relax and cool down. And if you have any heat issue, just cool down. That way you're, you're safe. The most important thing is always going to be your safety and your well-being. Uh, documentation and all those things we can record for you and you can watch later. But uh, I was telling my brother Usman, me and him has to be the strongest to where we you know, continue what's going on. So we do have a few people that's back at the boat or at the restaurant just cooling down. It is a hot day. And myself, from Jamaica, Uzwan from the Gambia, and our brother Abdul from Senegal. This is our climate, we're just used to the weather. Everybody going back to the boat? Yes, uh, everyone uh, is going back to the, the boat, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna document it for everyone because we don't wanna risk anyone having pass out. It's, what we're doing can always be watched on a recording, so everyone health and well-being is it. And all, all three of us, we're from hot countries. So, yeah. From Senegal to Gambia, Jamaica. This is our weather, we're used to it. Well, I'm from the south. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. well, the south is not 90 degrees all year round. No, it's not 90 so, yeah. I'm still. <laughs> but, um, so um, if you can make it, join us. Um, if nothing else. You, know, you want me to join you? Yeah. And if nothing else, you know, we can. Whoa, 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 whoa. If, trust me, if nothing else, we understand. It's not, it's nothing we take personal. So what I'm explaining for, for those who are also going to be traveling with us in the future is that it's absolutely okay. Yeah. It's absolutely Absol okay. But if people are not feeling well, we don't want them to push on. Oh, no, no, because no. It might be worst. No, we don't want to any, risk anybody with any health issues to wear. Because you can pass that's on and collapse on the heat. Uh, I grew up in this weather. Uh, this, this is my weather. I know it's your weather like all year round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we can tolerate it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So we just want to share with our guests and let them know that it's okay. Yes. And we understand and we want to make sure that they're priority as far as their health as well. And that's why we keep, you know, one of the things we always know, we always have water. Yeah. And that's because um, you just need to stay hydrated because a, a little bit of dehydration can kill you. A dehydration yeah, yeah, is, is, is dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get strokes and things like that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And also, you know, I usually tell everyone to get themselves in shape because most of the time we're not used to walking. Yes. Yeah. Right. I, I get my walking on it, but even myself, I pull right up in front of my house, take two, three steps, I'm in my house. Then I go drive somewhere to a store. You know, less than a 30 second walk, I'm in the store. And so, you, especially if you live in the suburbs or any rural area, uh, so we have to get our minds conditioned into walking and if we don't then this becomes even difficult. Yes. Yeah. And it's the same thing I experience when we go to other countries. Yeah. yeah. So we gotta go all the way down there. <laughs> You're like where? He's like what? <laughs> Y'all talk me into this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family with the Earth circle community. And we're walking and checking it out. Wow. Wow. Oh no, I'm just making sure I have my money for the chiefs and everything. Okay, let me tell you. So I got it right in my pocket. Once you get to the museum, uh, to the, to the um, I'm going to stay with Sammy. You go visit to the museum. You know, it's too hard to work. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, if, if, if make sure it's good and we'll just share everything with everyone yeah. and things like that. And then uh, I'm on the south too, bro. In the sun, growing up in this kind of world. <laughs> and that's about home time is Millersville, Georgia. Yo, yeah, what? And yeah, that's why the, the the balance of America would always be like the the winter season. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I live uh, outside of Atlanta, Georgia, and you pretty much you get good a good eight nine yeah, months about nine yeah. months of good weather, and three months it's kind of a little cold to a point, but so so that, you know Sam is definitely. Saying the right thing, man. That you see, this is his experience. Uh, hey, I see that nice red one right there. I mean, I'm happy man, one. family. I'm saying, I'm family, I, lo yeah. I, I love it. You know, I grew up around mango trees, and I've never seen this much mango trees in any country, including where we grew up at in Jamaica. 
you literally see mango trees like all day, every day, every step where you go. Like everything you're looking over here, majority of these trees to the left and the right are mango trees. And it's mango season, so I'm gonna climb up this tree later on and I'm gonna snatch me a few mangoes. So this is what family we were talking about when we talk about um, manufacturing and production. Uh, in tropical countries, we're going to grow a lot more than anywhere else. And the issue that we're going to have sometimes in tropical countries is the lack of manufacturing, storage, coal storage, warehousing, and things like that. Uh, so those become like some of the best investment okay. ideas and opportunity. Rick. <sighs> You're the last survivor. <laughs> <laughs> You're the last survivor. Yeah, as you can see, all of us be like, okay, this is... <laughs> so family uh, that are watching, this is, you know, we're just being real about the situation. And when you come to Africa, you get used to it because the people that we have that repatriate, we see more and more of them. They're a little thinner and they, they're a little more in fit because this, you go from a, a, a climate to where it's you know, it's not as you know not as hot to to where you go somewhere where now it's hotter and now you do more walking and I can't keep my mind off these mango trees. It's like a million mangoes right here. Mm -hmm. This is like seven trees right trees right here. Like look at this uh, tree right here. What is this kind of tree right here? Cotton. Oh, this is a cotton tree. Like so, um, I guess when you say cotton tree, I'm looking for like the cotton. The white cotton part. So, family, the journey of a lifetime is exactly what it is. But the good thing about it, uh, tomorrow we're gonna enjoy the beach itself and we're gonna cool down. Man, you, you, ain't, you ain't, you're not playing, man. You devour that mango quick. And then you're gonna, you're gonna toss it over there and it's gonna grow another mango tree in a year. Mm -hmm. And that's it, fam. That's what we mean by you know, sustainable. You know? Because you know what happened? These mangoes, ecology. they are too much. When they are ripe, we cannot eat it all. But at the end of the day, we just throw them. Yeah, that's because what we don't have storage facilities. And, you know, and many people don't have money to buy all the mangoes. People don't come. So we need people to come and give us storage facilities so that we can, these mangoes, we can keep them for more than five to six months or, I, you know, we use it again. There you go, so yeah. Once again, that's the purpose and most important thing for storage, facility, manufacturing, warehousing, cold storage, and also uh, exports. So import what you need from another country in Africa based on the uh, Africa Free Trade Agreement and um, just get your important export on okay we now approaching the museum this is the museum of albreda albreda you have your exhibition on this left thread. Alright, so family, we're gonna reconnect you with a foundation start uh, as um, a way to the children finish up on what they're doing. Ah.